see this company right here, this MoviePass company? Well, their parent company wants to spin them off into their own company. But will that actually help the company survive? And what might the ulterior motives be? Let's discuss that. Hey everyone, this is Kevin T. Rodriguez, film critic of iCritic.net and shareholder in Helios and Matheson. And in fact, you may be looking at this video and be like, hmm, something's a little different today. Like, there seems to be stuff in the background. There's a MoviePass logo on a giant 3D TV. Which, yeah, if I want, I could turn that image 3D, put on the glasses, and, you know, it could be popping out at me in all of its 3D glory. Well, we're trying something new. We're trying a different format, just experimenting a little, just see if some, we can do something about the look. I I think the, you know, news on the side is getting a little old at this point, and I want to try what some, you know, screen capture um, software can actually do. But anyway, um, let's get to the main topic at hand, and, you know, you'll see what I'm talking about. So, as we know, they announced several months ago, or was it December, something like that, that Helios and Matheson plan to spin MoviePass into its own publicly traded company. Now, they said that people were connecting the two companies so much they felt it would be better to spin it off into its own company and have it be its own thing. Now, some people wondered what that actually meant and why they were doing it. Was it that MoviePass was just losing them so much money that, you know, they didn't want to keep it anymore? Like, they no longer wanted to keep the movie, sorry, the money losing um, company that had taken their stock from, at one point, it was a $7,000 a share stock, believe it or not, into, you know, a penny stock, a literal penny stock. Like, if you, if you, you know, picked up a quarter, you could get 25 shares of stock. That's how low it's fallen. Or is it because maybe they want to have multiple companies? It's kind of debatable what exactly to want. I've got my own theory, of course, but we'll talk about that near the end of the video. In the meantime, let's look at this Hollywood Reporter article where it says MoviePass parent to spin off its pioneering money lo losing subscription company. And it says, Mo oh, sorry, MoviePass could be separately traded company under a plan revealed Thursday that would have Helios and Matheson Analytics spinning off its asset but retaining enough shares to keep it under its control. That, I think, is very important to keep in mind. Step one, already completed. Had Helios and Matheson created a wholly owned subsidiary dubbed MoviePass Entertainment Holdings, which would house MoviePass shares after public offering and also house the rest of the parent's film's assets, including its nascent movie production and acquisition business. MoviePass has been around for about eight years as a service providing a movie ticket per day to subscribers who paid $40 a month. I have to say, <laughs> in light of all of the, you know, subscription cards I have, I have Movie Pass, Cinemia, and AMC Stubs. Um, haven't quite been able to bring myself to stay subscribed to Cinemark Movie Club. I actually would have preferred that it stayed forty dollars a month, and I would have just occasionally paid out of pocket for the IMAX. But whatever. The price rose to fifty dollars. Then in 2017, it was reduced to ten, and members quickly swelled from twenty thousand to three million. After that, Helios and Matheson purchased the firm. The, actually, I think they purchased the firm before they went to $10. That was one of the, you know, Ted Farnsworth. That was one of his things. Let's make it $10 and get it into people's hands. And he didn't seem to understand that that was the promotional price. That I'm sorry, my nose itches. That you don't keep it at that price, but, you know, whatever. The rapid growth, though, led to massive losses since MoviePass mostly pays full price for the movie theater tickets it supplies its users. Helios and Matheson didn't disclose financials because it made its intentions to spin off MoviePass via a confidential SEC filing. Then it issued a press release that is light on details, which is part of the course these days. The rapid growth, though, led to massive losses since MoviePass... Mo oh, sorry, read that part already. Last year, Helios and Matheson revealed that MoviePass was burning through roughly $40 million a month and it would raise... 164 million via bonds and preferred stock. It also ditched an effort to raise 1.2 billion, sorry, that would have allowed it to purchase other assets such as a small theater chain, which um, is interesting um, because, yeah, if they had actually done that and they had the theater chain and all that jazz, then that maybe they could have even bought like Fandor. It's like, okay, you have your subscription card, you have your streaming service, you have your, you know, movie theater chain yeah it's actually a pretty good set of assets right there 
might have been valued a little bit more, but um, who knows? Maybe they couldn't get the maybe they just couldn't get the money. That seems pretty likely. Helios and Mathis in hopes to get its movie pass stock listed on Nasdaq, but it would settle for a lesser exchange. Yeah, good luck getting Nasdaq to agree to this. I, I hate to say. It's unclear what strategy the company has up its sleeve to bolster the business, but shares of Helios and Mathis have sunk more than 90% to less than two pennies each since it took control of MoviePass. And MoviePass has more competition now than before, most significantly from the Stubbs A-list plan from AMC Theaters, which launched late last year and has more than 500,000 users. The other major competitor is Cinemia, which offers a movie ticket per day for $28 or three per month for eight, though its plans and pricing change often, which is actually find kind of interesting how no one seems to complain when Cinemia changes their plan their plans or their pricing but um of course granted it should be noted that when cinemia changes their plans whoever's on the plan they sign up for that's the one they stick with like i some people keep writing to me asking me like hey so you do realize that there's only one imax you can use for cinemia and i'm like no i could actually use all three movie tickets for imax if i want because i got on that deal and i haven't canceled but you know fair you know they still change their plans a lot. So anyway, why are they doing this? I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it again, but I think it's become a little bit more clear this time. I think they're doing it to raise money. Really, I think that's what it is. At first, I thought it was a breakup. I thought that well, Mitch Lowe and Ted Farnsworth are having a little divorce, so to speak. But the fact that Mitch and Ted still hang out on his yacht, his personal yacht, I don't think that's the case. So I think what's going on is that they need to raise more money for MoviePass, and they can't do it continuously selling shares of Helis and Matheson. Even if they issued like a billion more shares, the shares are only going to sell for a cent. So hey, if they can sell several million, 100 million shares at $20 a share, that might be a good way to raise some money. However, this might delay MoviePass going under, but it's not going to help in the long run. Now, hopefully... There are some things put in place where MoviePass will not go out of business. Hopefully, if this thing gets approved and if they put their stock on the market, hopefully their new pricing plans will, you know, help in the long run. So far, the churn has been um, reduced quite a bit. And there's even like word that it's even a little profitable in some states because of the new pricing plans. Who knows? So I, uh, this could help them in the long run. It, it really could. But the problem is the stock is initially going to go down right away because no one trusts this company. They just don't trust this company at all. And I will probably not be buying MoviePass stock right away because I know it's going to go down. And it might even go down a lot from when it initially goes. Now, when it gets to a certain price, I wouldn't mind putting some money into it. I still believe in MoviePass long term. That's why I continue to make these videos, even though I'm more and more skeptical of them every month. In fact, it's kind of weird how... People complained about me that I was being too optimistic about MoviePass. And then when I started being a little bit more critical of them, then people started complaining, well, you're a shareholder. Why would you, you know, say these things? I guess you just can't please people sometimes. But I do ultimately want MoviePass to succeed. And in fact, after not being subscribed for a couple weeks because my annual pass did expire, I kind of waited a couple weeks. And then I re-signed up again for MoviePass. I did not get the carpet, uh, the premiere one, like I thought I would. I thought I, I thought, well, maybe I'll do the premiere one. You know, you get an IMAX, you get a 3D. But since AMC and Cinemia cover the 3D and IMAX and 4DX movies, I probably didn't need that. So it's like, you know what? I'm just going to get the middle tier, three movies a month that can be whatever I want. Now, for the first couple months, I will probably maximize those because it's Oscar season. So I got to watch foreign language films and documentaries and movies that I don't trust AMC to actually carry. But after that, I, I will probably use it a little less. I mean, some people say, hey, why even bother? You know what? Because I'm always seeing at least a couple movies at a theater that's not AMC, and it's nice to have a card that will use it. So that's always my personal thing. Um, I'll let you guys can decide whether or not it's, it's worth it to you. I've already, my parents unfortunately got like a year up in front and I think they were having trouble redeeming those. I actually got to ask if they actually figured that out. But anyway, that's the story. Um, it's actually officially happening now. So we're just going to have to see what happens. I will continue keeping up to date on this and well, this ride will continue most likely. 
So anyway, what do you folks think? Are you going to invest in MoviePass stock? Do you think this is going to save the company? I would love to know. What do you think of the new format, by the way? Um, would you like to see more like this? I'd love to know. So comment below, like, favorite, share, subscribe. If you enjoy my videos, consider becoming a Patreon member. It's totally optional, of course, but even though it's $1 a month goes a long way to helping the channel run smoothly, and it gives you access to my new Patreon-exclusive blog. And as always, flame responsibly. Have a good one.